Uh -huh. So uh, let me recall you uh, what we did last time and what is our plan for today's lecture. Uh, last time we discussed the uh, how to use function uh, of the how to use functionals in the special case. Namely, we consider the space in two uh, zero one uh, as a basic Hilbert space. Uh, with the usual scalar product. Uh, WT, uh, T it belongs to uh, 0, 1 was a standard winner process, one dimensional. Uh, and uh, we uh, discussed the situation, we generalized how she random element side with the zero million and identity covariance operator in this space, uh, it's formally a uh, uh, derivative of W. Of course, this derivative does not exist, but uh, uh, we, we can define uh, a scalar product of H side uh, as a winner integral uh, HE DW. Uh, it occurs that uh, we can uh, construct uh, all uh, elements of stochastic analysis, like uh, chaotic expansion, stochastic derivative, and then extended stochastic or scoreboard stochastic integral uh, in this case. And uh, uh, last time we discussed that the e to win expansion for random green alpha. Uh, which uh, is square integrate and measure with respect to psi, or it is the same with respect to w, so I, I can write here it as follows. Uh, uh, we have the following uh, representation that it is equal uh, the, to the infinite sum from n equals zero to infinity, and uh, here we consider such integral uh, a n e one e n d w t one d w t n and uh, uh, of course this uh, expression uh, must be uh, specially defined uh, we define it for the kernel B, uh, which is the element of the following space, the term belongs to L2, uh, 0, 1 in n power uh, symmetric part. Uh, and uh, uh, the definition of this multiple uh, integral is the full. Uh, 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 is equal to n factorial multiply on the integral with respect to six delta n a n. Uh, DW T1, DW T uh, uh, It must be remained that uh, delta L is a symmetric where the uh, coordinates T1, TN are ordered in non decreasing order uh, and uh, bounded from 0 to 1. Uh, so, uh, due to this. Uh, structure of delta n. Uh, here uh, we subsequently have usual uh, into integration uh, and uh, this um, multiple e integral is well defined. Uh, e and uh, we just wrote it in such a manner in order to emphasize the connection with the abstract picture which we built on the previous lectures. Uh, because uh, now this kernel AM uh, is in one to one correspondence with the uh, n linear symmetric Hilbert sheet forms 
on the space in 201. And moreover, uh, we have uh, the expression for the norm uh, of alpha in the space L2, uh, exactly the same as it was in abstract case. Mainly, uh, we have that the expectation of alpha square is equal to the sum from n equals zero to infinity, uh, n factorial uh, multiplied with the norm uh, of a n uh, and square. Uh, this is the big norm in the corresponding uh, space. Uh, so we have such a to be the next, uh, such a four special form to be an expansion for square integrated functionals. And uh, uh, then we discuss the stochastic derivative of uh, the random alpha. Uh, and uh, the formula which we get uh, was the following: uh, D alpha, it is a, a random function, uh, as we said, because we remember that if we have a random variable, uh, which is functional from how to white noise, then its stochastic derivative is a square integrate random element in, in basic Hilbert space. So in our case, uh, since we have uh, how to white noise in L201, then the stochastic derivative must be a random element in this space. So we can uh, call it a random function. Uh, since uh, uh, we have to put here uh, the uh, argument T, and it occurs that it is, uh, it, uh, it is very easy to write it. Namely, it is the sum from n equals zero to infinity. And, uh, and here we have again uh, linear integrals, but n minus one. Uh, uh, instead of n here, and uh, here we have a n, a t, t, uh, t1, tn minus 1, uh, dw, t1, dw, tn minus 1. Uh, okay, so uh, this is a uh, stochastic uh, derivative, uh, of course, uh, it, it exists. Uh, and uh, uh, we uh, said that now it's time uh, to consider uh, examples of stochastic derivative uh, related in this case. Uh, why I'm doing this? Because uh, this case is uh, very important for applications. Uh, as we uh, mentioned, uh, maybe it's the first lecture, uh, in case, uh, uh, when we consider the uh, functionals uh, from uh, Wiener process, uh, there exists a, a large family of uh, functionals which are uh, of special interest uh, from a different points of uh, theory of view in stochastic process theory in applications of stochastic process theory. Let me just recall you that there are such functional, uh, functionals as a solution to stochastic differential equation driven by the Wiener process, uh, or uh, such a functional like uh, moments of the first heating of the maximum of Wiener process and so on. So uh, we already, uh, have an experience uh, about such functionals from different uh, uh, chapters of uh, stochastic process theory and its applications. Uh, this is uh, the reason why we uh, have to check whether such functionals have stochastic derivative or not, and uh, what is the form of this stochastic derivative. This is the aim of our lecture today. Uh, let us begin uh, with a very simple uh, functional, which is simply w of t, uh, the value of the linear process at the fixed moment of the time. So, our first example will, will be very simple. <coughs> Uh, 
we just consider uh, the uh, alpha, which is equal to WT cos of T uh, from zero uh, one. Uh, then, uh, in order to check to check uh, its stochastic derivative, I need a together representation of uh, this random variable. Uh, since uh, WT uh, can be written as the integral from zero to T uh, DWS, which is equal to integral zero to one uh, indicator zero T of S DWS, uh, then uh, I can say that now uh, in the intervening expansion of our uh, functional, so let me recall it general form. We can see only one term related to n equal to one. So I can continue uh, equality, and it will be integral from zero to one, indicator of uh, zero t. Uh, let me denote variable uh, integration t one, d w t one. So in our case. <coughs> Uh, we have only one kernel. Uh, it depends on one coordinate, so uh, we, uh, we can say that it's symmetric, of course. Uh, and now uh, I can easily define stochastic derivative of WT uh, because uh, if we have a finite sum here, then stochastic derivative always exists. We have no problem with the convergence of the symmetry. Uh, in this case, uh, using the definition of stochastic derivative, I can say that uh, we have the following relationship d wt uh, of t1, for example, is equal to the indicator of uh, w0 t. Uh, from T1. Uh, so, uh, since uh, T1 is just argument, uh, then I can say that uh, in sense of uh, random functions, I have the following equality. I have the following stochastic derivative of WT is non random function, which is just indicated of the interval per zero T. Uh, Using this uh, simple calculation, uh, we can uh, get stochastic derivative for very wide uh, class of real uh, functions. Why? Because we remember that stochastic derivative uh, is, <laughs> in some sense, uh, generalization of usual derivative, and it inherits uh, all uh, good properties of uh, usual derivative, uh, and uh, one of the most important is the chain rule. Uh, so uh, I can now uh, continue this example with the following uh, expression. Uh, now let us consider uh, random derivative of such kind f of w to one. WT1, WTN. Then uh, we, uh, and I will suppose that F belongs uh, C1 uh, bounded on Rn. Uh, so I suppose that F has a uh, uh, one derivative, which is uh, continuous, and f is bounded together with this derivative. Uh, this is uh, not uh, uh, 
a unique choice of the condition on the function uh, f. They can be relaxed. Uh, you remember the statistic derivative uh, uh, for the operator. But uh, for us to understand what is happening, it is enough. Uh, then uh, I can apply chain rules just uh, calculating uh, d alpha. And uh, uh, one can easily uh, get the following formula. This is uh, the sum from k uh, to n, f i k in such a way as to know the uh, derivative of f with respect to the case coordinate. Uh, uh, from the same arguments, one w t n, and here we have the uh, uh, indicator of uh, zero. So now we have the uh, following relation uh, 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 for uh, the derivative of uh, this uh, of this uh, function. Uh, by the way, uh, by the way, it is uh, good to understand that uh, this uh, condition to have continuous derivative. Actually, is not necessary. As I say, it can be relaxed, and there is one uh, uh, one uh, case which is uh, which deserve uh, our uh, 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 consideration is this uh, framework. So let us consider a special case of function f, which is not continuously relaxed. Uh, I will begin uh, with the uh, uh, very simple uh, case. Uh, let us consider. Uh, let us consider uh, the following case. Uh, suppose that alpha is the absolute value of w one. Uh, so now. Uh, uh, the role of uh, the order function is played by the absolute value. Now, f of x is just the absolute value of x. Uh, and of course, <coughs> this is not continuously differential function on the all r. But uh, what we can do, uh, one can try to make approximation of f, to make approximation of f. Uh, so uh, how I, I will uh, do this? Uh, let us uh, proceed as follows. Uh, let us uh, take epsilon, which is greater than zero, uh, and uh, draw a following picture. Yes. Uh, minus one. Yes, one, yes, minus epsilon, yes, epsilon. And uh, now I must uh, draw a graph of the following function, which is uh, linear, uh, uh, the interval of minus epsilon, epsilon, and connect value minus one and one. Uh, that uh, it is uh, totally equal minus one on the negative half line. And plus one on the positive half line. Uh, if I say uh, that this is a function uh, uh, phi epsilon, uh, then uh, I can consider <coughs> uh, the following. Uh, I can consider uh, the following functions. Uh, uh, function f of epsilon uh, of x will be the integral from zero to x uh, phi epsilon uh, of uh, u, u d. Uh, now know uh, that uh, these functions uh, will be uh, almost uh, like uh, will, uh, will be um, almost like this one and uh, uh, they approximate f when epsilon tends to 
video. Okay. Uh, uh, then uh, one can check uh, that, uh, of course, uh, f epsilon uh, is, uh, uh, is differentiable. And uh, using chain rules, I can say that Unfortunately, I have to uh, I have to write something. Um, uh, using chain chain rule, one can say that now uh, d uh, f epsilon of w exists and is equal to exactly phi epsilon of w one uh, of this. Indicator, and uh, uh, finally uh, we use that uh, the fact which I recall it today already, uh, which uh, uh, consists in the statement that stochastic derivative is closed operator. Namely, uh, we have the following relationship which you can uh, easily check that. Uh, f epsilon of w1 uh, converge in L2 to uh, absolute value of w1. Uh, also, one can check that uh, phi epsilon of w1 uh, converge in L2 uh, to uh, sigma of W1. By the way, uh, let me remark that now I'm not clear about uh, the definition of signal at point zero. Uh, you see, because W1 uh, take uh, the value zero is probability zero. So uh, we, we can forget about this uh, uh, formalism. Uh, since then, I can check that D uh, F epsilon W1 uh, converge in L2. Uh, I put here symbol L2, but it means L2 in functional space because this is a function. Uh, to the uh, function absolute value W1 multiply on the indicator of T01. From this point of view, uh, uh, we understand uh, using probability uh, of uh, uh, the stochastic derivative uh, and these two lines that uh, finally stochastic derivative of the absolute value of uh, W1, for example, uh, is uh, equal to the signal of W1 multiplied uh, on the Stochastic derivative of W1 uh, is a signal of uh, W1 multiplied with the indicator of z Of course, if I put here not W1 but WT, uh, then uh, we will have here indicator of the interval from 0 to T, not to 1. Uh, now, uh, uh, let us generalize uh, slightly this example in such a way. Uh, suppose that alpha uh, is the uh, max, maximum of <coughs> WT1, WT. Uh, then uh, again, uh, what we have, we have a special function uh, uh, from wt1, wtn, and uh, this function is, uh, function is like uh, uh, f of uh, uh, x1, xn uh, is equal to maxima, maxima of uh, x1 and x2. 
again, uh, maybe after this example, uh, one can assume that uh, we uh, have the stochastic derivative for such a functional, and this is true. And uh, uh, let me uh, just uh, guess what what will be uh, what will be the kind of stochastic derivative. Uh, here, you see, uh, we just had uh, uh, the absolute value of W1, and then uh, the, the stochastic derivative uh, just indicates the sign of W and to multiply on the uh, usual uh, on the stochastic derivative of the argument. Yes? <laughs> Here we have uh, more or less the same. So we must indicate that uh, uh, the maximum of these values uh, is equal to, for example, uh, first coordinate, second coordinate, and so on. Uh, so we have to collect such a cases. And uh, after this, uh, just to write uh, the the uh, usual indicators, yeah? Uh, uh, let me, uh, let me uh, explain it uh, just more precisely. Uh, I will do this when n equal to two, then we will generalize the thing. So I So uh, let me consider the uh, case n equal to two. In this case, we have a uh, uh, function maximum of x1 and x2. And uh, uh, let me uh, note that this uh, maximum has the uh, following way. It has, <coughs> it has way, x1, where? On the uh, half uh, of plane where x uh, one is greater than x one, okay. uh, and uh, it is equal to x two on the opposite half of plane where x one is less than x two. Again, exactly as we discussed it before with the sign, I am not care about the. Uh, uh, line x1 equal to x2. Why? Because we will consider the case when uh, we have this wt1, wtn, uh, where ti is not equal to tj, or i is not equal to j. And you remember the distribution, and t1 is not zero. You remember the distribution of uh, this uh, Hausian uh, vector uh, consisting uh, of uh, values of inner orthos and this absolutely continuous. This is absolutely continuous distribution. So uh, probability that it fits uh, 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 border between these two half of planes uh, uh, is equal to zero. Uh, and uh, in this case. One can, one can say that uh, the derivative uh, f prime uh, one uh, is equal to one, f prime two is equal to zero. Yeah? And uh, in opposite case, we have uh, f prime one is equal to zero uh, and uh, f prime two is equal to one. Uh, so uh, using this uh, using this expression, uh, I can uh, now write uh, the stochastic derivative of the maxima wt1 and wt2. Uh, let me do this. Uh, using this relationship, uh, I can uh, 
собирается в этой песне Дарила Кинпо Максим. As a sum, because uh, I am a lazy male, so we will uh, uh, have a general uh, general form which we, uh, we can easily generalize for n summons. So let it be a sum from k equal one to two. Uh, here is uh, this uh, indicator that uh, this maxima <coughs> is equal to uh, w. Uh, k and uh, then multiply on the indicator uh, indicator of w t uh, excuse me sorry, sorry uh, zero uh, zero t k that's all you see so uh, we have such an indicator and now of course uh, everybody understand how the formula for general case looks like. Uh, we will have the following general formula that stochastic derivative of the maxima of W T1 W T N uh, will be equal to uh, the sum from k equal one to n uh, indicator that uh, this maxima uh, of w t one w t k uh, equal uh, to t n t n t n is equal W T N T K and uh, multiply with the indicator function of zero T K. So we have uh, the following expression. And uh, uh, now let me uh, write uh, even more nice formula for this uh, case, uh, for this case. Uh, I will do this now. I will, for now, I will suppose that T1, Tn are ordered in, uh, in, in crazy order. So uh, for now, let us suppose, let us suppose that uh, we have the following <coughs> the relation with uh, T1 is greater than zero less than T2, less than, and so on, less than Tn, which is less than 1. So let's suppose that we have such ordering. Uh, and uh, uh, now uh, let us denote, uh, let us introduce such a uh, random moment of the time. Uh, tau uh, will be the uh, such number uh, T uh, K Z W T K is equal to maxima uh, of uh, W one T one and so on W T N. Okay. <coughs> uh, then. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, 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 by the way, uh, you see here I am insisting that uh, the definition of tau is correct. Uh, what we have to check, uh, we have to check that this uh, time is unique. Uh, that we have uh, we have in situation where we have to choose. 
one uh, t1 of t3 or something yeah and uh, the reason is the same uh, which i mentioned it to you that uh, two of these uh, values are uh, equal only with probability zero uh, from from this point of view one can think that uh, this uh, town is correctly defined outside of the set of probability zero. And using this notation, it is easy to write the stochastic derivative of this maximum, uh, WT1, WTN, uh, is equal to just indicator of zero tau. Now this is a random indicator, yes, because tau is a random type. Uh, so we have such a nice formula. And uh, now maybe one can imagine that uh, due to the, again, uh, the fact that stochastic derivative is a closed operator, we can continue our investigations. Why? Uh, suppose that uh, this is a partition of uh, the interval zero one. Let me say that this is T zero equal to zero. Yeah? And this is T n plus one. And uh, now suppose that uh, the diameter of this partition, namely the max maximum of uh, T k plus one, minus tk uh, when uh, k is equal to zero from zero to n tends to zero uh, and uh, n tends to infinity. Uh, if somebody uh, don't want to uh, consider general partition, uh, he can he or she can consider the uniform partition of interval zero one. Doesn't matter. Uh, one can imagine that in this case, uh, such a function, such a random variant has a limit. Has a limit. Uh, let me uh, write this. Uh, no, uh, when we have such a condition, then the function maximum of WT1, WTN goes to uh, maximum of uh, WT on zero one. And uh, please check this exercise that it goes in a few cents. Yeah. Uh, and what is intriguing is that these uh, random times E1 are such that if we define now tau as uh, the, uh, uh, such a moment that uh, let us define it in such a way. Tau is defined in such, in such a way that W tau is a maximum of uh, W t on the interval 0, 1. Uh, by the way, uh, now we also must uh, prove that tau is correctly defined. So that it is uniquely. Yes, that we uh, have not to choose the one of different values. No, uh, please check as exercise that with probability one, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the point where W achieved uh, the maxima on the interval zero one is unique. Okay, this is, uh, by the way, this is, um, uh, uh, not too easy to do. And uh, as a hint, uh, let me uh, let me uh, uh, 
say you that uh, please uh, try to check that uh, uh, there are uh, no two rational numbers, uh, probably one uh, that uh, W uh, will uh, have uh, the one side between them. So the hint uh, is in the behavior of the linear process. Uh, after uh, we fix some point, uh, it uh, cross the horizontal line very often. Please uh, use this uh, to check that uh, I am true. Uh, here that uh, the state is true here. Uh, and uh, after this, maybe one can imagine that again, for approximation, one can check that uh, the stochastic derivative of maximum of linear process from zero one exists and is equal to uh, this random indicator. Okay. So we have. Uh, such a nice, uh, nice statement about stochastic differentiability of the well-known functional. Maybe you remember uh, first lectures uh, about Brownian motion when uh, we study reflection principles, for example, and uh, uh, derive the distribution of maxima. Yes. Uh, so uh, we have uh, such examples stochastically differential random. Now let's go to statistic differential equation. Uh, I will start uh, from the stochastic derivative of the auto integral. Let me recall you that we already mentioned the uh, nice and deep theory of auto uh, uh, integral, uh, which is uh, based on the following construction. Uh, of the following construction. Uh, suppose that I have a random function x which belongs to uh, L2 omega L2 0 1. So this is a such that uh, uh, random function uh, such that its trajectories are square degree and moreover expectation of the integral to zero to one uh, x t square uh, dt is equal to uh, is not equal but less than dt. Also uh, I will suppose that uh, we introduce the uh, flow of the events, which is uh, connected uh, to the linear process, namely to the past of the linear process. This is a smaller sigma field, which uh, is uh, uh, generated by the values of the linear process up to the moment. Uh, and this is a flow in the sense that uh, uh, when t increases, the sigma fields are also are increasing. Uh, and finally, uh, I will suppose that x is adapted to this broad uh, flow of sigma fields. It means that uh, for any uh, for any uh, t which belongs uh, zero one, if I consider the multiplication of x like a function on the indicator of zero t, again like a function, uh, it will be a random function in the space L two zero one. Then this random function is measured with respect to x. Okay. So uh, uh, x is adapted in this sense. Uh, then uh, uh, 
I can uh, build an approximation of the uh, this uh, of this random function by a special step functions, which I mean, uh, what I mean uh, by the word special. Let me explain. Uh, I will, uh, I can, under these conditions, construct the following sequence. Let me write xn uh, of t is equal to some from uh, a equals zero to n minus one. <coughs> uh, alpha k, uh, indicator of, uh, let me use the uniform partition, it does not matter, but uh, kn k plus one, uh, and uh, k of uh, t. So this is a step function. Uh, where the random variants alpha k are such that they are measured with respect a k n. So if we have a graph of such random function, uh, here is zero, here is one, then here is a partition, and then it looks like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then the uh, attitude here is alpha one, for example. Uh, depends on the past of the linear process. Okay? Uh, 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 please again check as an exercise that I can organize uh, such sequence of uh, functions, random uh, functions, that uh, will have uh, convergence in two to the uh, function x, namely that uh, the expectation integral zero to one if it's x n uh, t minus x t in square d t uh, will uh, tend to zero when n tends to zero. Uh, okay. Uh, the, uh, this is the uh, exercise. Uh, then uh, using this approximation, one can try to uh, define the integral <coughs> the random function x. Uh, and uh, and uh, it occurs that it is the right way. So let us define the integral from 0 to 1 uh, from this step function x n t uh, dt. As usual, it is just uh, a sum uh, from k equal uh, 0. One uh, here is alpha k multiplied by d dot u uh, k n. And here we see uh, the interesting uh, uh, the interesting uh, feature that uh, alpha k is independent on this increment uh, because, as we mentioned, it alpha k is measured to the past of the unit process up to the moment k over n, and this uh, delta is the increment after k over n, it is equal wk plus 1 minus uh, over n minus wkn. Uh, so, uh, due to this independency, uh, we have uh, very nice uh, properties of the sum uh, of, excuse me, here is w. Uh, Wt, very nice properties, uh, namely uh, expectation of this integral uh, x and e dwt uh, is equal to zero. Expectation of the square uh, uh, x and uh, t dwt uh, is equal to uh, expectation of integral from zero to one uh, x and t square dt. And uh, uh, due to these two properties, uh, one uh, can check that uh, when n tends to infinity, the sum has a two limit. Uh, so one can define, one can define the uh, e to integral e to integral 
uh, integral zero to one uh, x t dw t as uh, a two limit on the n tends to infinity of the form. This integral from zero to one x n t dw t. And uh, please check that uh, this definition does not uh, uh, depend on the choice of this uh, approximate sequence. Uh, only uh, the adapter is, is necessary. Uh, so, uh, due to this fact, one can define the into integral. And now I, uh, our aim is the following. Let us suppose that this random function has stochastic derivative, good stochastic derivative. I will explain uh, in a moment what is good. Uh, then what we can say about stochastic derivative of this integral? Yeah. This is a question. Uh, let's solve this question. Uh, to do this, of course, we can start uh, from this case where we have uh, a, step function as an integral. Then let us try to understand uh, what will be the stochastic derivative of this random variable. So uh, what is the D? Uh, from uh, uh, from some way uh, to calculate it, I will suppose that alpha k has stochastic derivative for any k. Uh, then I can uh, proceed as follows: stochastic derivative is linear, so it is the sum of k equals zero to n minus one. Then uh, here I have the stochastic derivative of the product alpha k delta uh, w k over n. Uh, uh, and uh, the uh, now to find this product, let us use chain rule because this has stochastic derivative, this also has stochastic derivative, they are independent. Uh, since then, the product has a two moment, and uh, uh, one can easily check now that we can apply chain rule. This is a technical moment, which I leave to you also as an exercise. Uh, but this is rather simple now. Uh, so uh, one can check that we can apply usual formula for derivative of the product and get the following. Will be I continue uh, writing. It will be equal to a sum from k equal to zero to n minus one. Uh, here we have a what <coughs> the first sum d alpha k t. Yes, uh, multiplied by t w k over n. Plus second summon alpha k on the indicator uh, of the interval k over n k plus one over n from t. Uh, now uh, let us understand that this formula can be uh, simplified in which way. Uh, as you remember, alpha k is uh, just a functional, uh, just a, just a functional from the values of uh, w up to the moment k over n. Uh, and now we will see that this leads uh, to the very interesting problem that if uh, k over n 
is less than p, then uh, then uh, d alpha uh, d alpha k alpha k of k is equal to zero. This is a fundamental fact. Uh, uh, check it, but before we will check, I just uh, want to uh, give you a non-formal explanation of how, uh, <laughs> why, <laughs> why this uh, property holds. Uh, the reason is for uh, more, more or less the stochastic derivative is uh, the stochastic derivative of the uh, function uh, of alpha, which is represented by of psi. In our case, phi of w dot. Of course, this is just formal. There are no psi, there are no w dot in infinite dimensional case, but uh, let's imagine uh, that they exist for a moment. Then, uh, where, uh, what is this condition? It looks like uh, uh, this phi uh, depends only on restriction of uh, restriction of W dot on the interval of zero k. So it depends only on this values. It looks like we have a function from uh, 10 coordinates formally, but uh, uh, it depends only from two first coordinates. Then, of course, the derivative with respect to the uh, other coordinates are equal to zero. Exactly the same pattern and same. So from this one, one can uh, see that uh, d alpha multiplied on the indicator k uh, uh, and one is equal to zero. So this is a non-formal explanation of why it is so. Uh, but uh, next time we will uh, discuss uh, formal uh, uh, proof of this statement and we'll apply it to this formula. Uh, for today, uh, this is all. Uh, thank you for attention. Maybe somebody have questions or comments, please. Okay, if not, then see you next week. Bye.